Hello everyone, and it is time for another product review. This time it's the Gusta Cheese. This is um, Gusta out of Quebec, Montreal, I believe. They make sausages, which I've reviewed. I love their sausages. And they're also making cheese now. So, uh, this is their Swiss version. I was with uh, my daughter at Good Rebel Vegan Provisions. And they have Swiss. I think there was a cheddar. Maybe like a mozzarella. Anyway, we picked up the Swiss. Um, and I'm just going to taste this now. Let me tell you what it's made out of. It's made from coconut oil, tapioca, modified potato starch, non-GMO canola oil, pea protein, sea salt, red wine vinegar, nutritional yeast, garlic powder, yeast extract, and natural flavors. Nutrition facts for every 50 grams you get 200 calories, 11 grams of fat, 7 grams of saturated fat, 0 cholesterol, 340 milligrams of sodium, uh, 9 grams of carbohydrate, 0 fiber, 0 sugar, 2%, sorry, 2 grams of protein, 110 milligrams of potassium, 10 milligrams of calcium, and 0.5 milligrams of iron. Now it comes like this. So I'm just going to cut off the end and I'll, I'll taste this. And I'm also going to melt it. Um, let's just do this first here. Okay. This reminds me of the cheese I made. Like, you know, it's a nice thick consistency. Mmm, my daughter's gonna love this. Tastes delicious. I have a cracker here. Chloe, do you wanna come and taste this? Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Yeah, it's really good. I've got this little bit on a cracker. I'm just gonna heat this up. Let's see how that melts. And, oh, it's delicious. How much was this, Chloe? Six something, maybe? Six uh, something? I don't remember. But again, it was good Rebel, Rebel Vegan Provisions. They do have it available at other places, I think. Um, for sure, other health food grocery stores sell the Gusta products. I know Food Basics is selling their cheese. That's right, their sausages, so I don't know about the cheese. Mm, it's good, isn't it? Um, oh, okay. Yep, that definitely melted. <laughs> okay, so let's just... Uh, Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. It's a nice, melty... Yeah, that's good. This is great. Listen, there's cheese is done. We've, we've figured, we've, we've mastered the cheese, and we've mastered ice cream uh, in the vegan world. Um, I really don't think anyone needs to worry about <laughs> satisfying those addictions if they have them. Um, you know, th with all the different kind of cheeses, from cream cheese, to, you know, a hard cheese, to multiple cheeses for pizza. There are lots of options, and I really think that there's something for everyone. You might not like everything, but you just got to tr keep trying. This one I really like, and I think it melts very well. What do you think, Chloe? Yeah, definitely. My only real criticism yes. is it's too small. <laughs> yeah, for the size, the price. I remember this being like, I don't know, $6.99. It might yeah. have, I think it was too much you know, for the size, but it's fantastic. So what's also good about this is you can grate this. So I think I'm gonna make pizza tonight. Maybe I'll grate a little bit of this. This is Swiss, I mean, it's, it tastes fine. Um, but you know, you can put this on what you like. You, this is a hard, grateable cheese, so you can use it as you like. And that's all for now, guys. I will see you in the next video. It almost reminds me oh. of um, that homemade mozzarella that you made. Yeah. Except this one probably has like a better texture, but it tastes nearly the same. Yeah, well, it's interesting because so. I looked at the ingredients and the ingredients are pretty much, you know, just your regular natural ingredients, the stuff that I do put in my, that I did put in my cheese. My, what my daughter is ultimately trying to get at, and I didn't put red wine and vinegar in mine. This has red wine and vinegar. She's been asking me to make my cheese balls again, and I haven't for a long time, but I will. So, That's, <laughs> so on one hand, you can like make something that tastes basically just like this for cheaper or the same price yeah. and get a lot more. Yeah, like yeah. when we made it, there was like this times like 10. Oh, very interesting though, because I made mine with uh, cashews, and this has coconut oil tapioca. There is no cashew base to this. So hey, if you are uh, allergic to nuts, this appears to also be nut free. So even better for you guys who don't want nuts. But for me, I, I'm good either way. All right, guys, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.